Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss amniotic egg. Those animals which possess amniotic egg or lays amniotic eggs are known as amniotes. As you know that there are five major classes or groups of vertebrates which belongs to phylum Chordata. The number one is class Pisces which include all fishes. The second class is amphibia which include uh, frogs and toads etc. Third class is reptilia, aves, birds and mammalia. The first two classes of phylum Chordata, fishes and amphibian, they both have external fertilization and they lay eggs in the water and water medium is necessary for their reproduction and fertilization. But the other groups have adopted a different strategy. They have produced a larger egg which, which is surrounded by a shell to protect the embryo from the harsh conditions of the terrestrial condition like sunlight, desiccation and protection from the predators. So today we are going to discuss the structure of amniotic egg. So let's look at the diagram. So this is a structure of a structure of an amniotic egg. The outermost protective layer of the egg is known as shell. Shell is usually leathery or it can be hard. A leathery shell is usually found in reptiles like uh, tortoises, turtles, while hard shell is usually associated with birds. It is made up of calcium carbonate. It is uh, made, it is semi permeable and, and uh, it is for protection from desiccation, from light, from harsh condition of the terrestrial environment. Inside the shell, there is a proteinaceous layer, prote proteinaceous storage, which is known as albumin which is a shock absorber and at the same time provide nutrition to the developing embryo. Inside these two layers, there is a real egg which, is contain, which contain three major layers. The first layer is chorion, allantois and amnion. Due to the presence of amnion around the embryo, this layer, due to this layer, the egg of these animals is known as amniotic egg. If we look at the green etymology, uh, amnion means a cup or ball which is filled with blood. And at the same time, if you look at this diagram, the amnion is a, is a cup shaped structure which contains amniotic fluid. And from this term, amniotic egg has been taken. And uh, all those animals which possess amniotic egg are known as amniotes, which includes reptiles birds and one group of mammals which are prototheria also known as uh, eggling mammals which includes spiny anteater, duckbill platypus etc. If we look at the first layer of the amniotic egg which is the outermost layer inside the shell which is known as chorion. Chorion is protective layer and it is used for exchange of gases for oxygen and CO2. Oxygen stored inside the air space in the egg diffuses from egg into the chorion and reaches to the embryo. Oxygen is absorbed and CO2 is released and this outermost layer which you can see in the black and blue circle is known as chorion. This is the protective layer. The second layer is known as allantois. If you look at next to the chorion there is another layer you can see in the red color. This layer is known as allantois. Allantois has two functions. First of all, it disposes of metabolic waste is produced by developing embryo, especially uric acid. And second, it uh, conjunction with uh, uh, chorion used for exchange of gases between ex uh, external environment and embryo. So it is also act as a respiratory organ for developing embryo. The third and the innermost layer is known as amnion. As you see, as you can see right over here, the green color membrane is known as amnion, which is a, in the shape of a cup shape or a ball shape. 
Amnion is a protective layer for embryo, which uh, make a cavity inside its membrane, which is known as amniotic cavity. And this amniotic cavity contains a fluid, which is known as amniotic fluid, which surrounds the developing embryo. And in the center, you can see the developing embryo in the blue color. So amnion, which is a, a layer of innermost layer of the egg, which protects the embryo from shocks and it is shock absorber and it also protects the embryo from desiccation, from terrestrial conditions. Just beneath the embryo, there is a gut and gut leads into a cavity, a sac, which is known as yolk sac. These animals like reptiles, birds and some mammals, they lay larger eggs with large amount of stored food for developing embryo, which, which is necessary for development of the embryo in terrestrial condition. So this yolk sac is present right over here. You can see that this yolk sac store nutrients for the developing embryo and blood supply, blood capillaries comes into this yolk sac, spreads over here and absorb nutrients and provide to the developing embryo and all the development completes uh, inside the uh, amniotic egg so as i mentioned earlier there are three groups reptiles birds and first group of uh, mammals they usually lay or keep the, in their body these amniotic eggs and these animals are known amniotes while the remaining groups of uh, mammals which are pouched mammal and uh, true mammals, the eutheria, they also produce eggs, but their eggs are not, uh, they are very small and not enclosed by shells. And the development of the fetus or the development of the embryo takes place uh, within the mother's body and uh, inside uh, in the structure known as placenta. And remember that there is an internal fertilization takes place in all three groups, reptiles, birds and mammals, while uh, fishes and amphibians, they do external fertilization. That's all for today and I'll see you in the next lecture. Until then, bye.